Hey, Ji Young. I don't know if you really wanted someone to answer the questions from your post, but um, I don't know if they were rhetorical. But I thought that I'd try to make a video to um, demonstrate some of the things you asked about, and maybe they'll help a little bit so you can see it and rewind and play again if you want. Um, I don't know how well I'll be able to explain it to you, and I was going to try to do this standing up, but I don't have a place in my apartment that has good lighting that I can really stand and do that. So I'm going to try to do it as if I'm standing from my couch, which you'll probably recognize. Um, so you said, am I supposed to play with my shoulders down or push backwards or push forward? I think instead of thinking about your shoulders, which you're probably thinking about the tops of your shoulders here, try to think more about your shoulder blades in general, just when you're thinking about playing and think about playing more from your back than from the front of your body. Because when we think about our shoulders, we tend to think about the front part of our body, our chest and um, our face and everything here instead of thinking about the back, which is actually where we want to feel like most of our sound is coming from. Um, so to answer that question, I say, I say that I want you to think that your shoulder blades are pushed in and up into your back when you play. So instead of putting your violin up and then bringing your shoulder to it here, which would be in this kind of position, you're going to try to have your shoulder blade um, secured underneath so it's flush against my back here. And then the shoulder doesn't come up like this necessarily, but you bring the violin to it here. I don't know if you can see how that works. This is different. So my shoulder's not forward like this, and it's not down like you were kind of saying either, but it's just neutral. But I have my um, my shoulder blade pushed into the pushed into my back. If if you know, I think I've talked to you about this before. Your shoulder blades, when they're working correctly, they're supposed to move like this. When they're working incorrectly, which we've dealt with, they're working like this. So that's what's happening when your shoulder's coming forward, is that your shoulder blade is winging out this way. So if you want to keep it, keep it secure and against your back, and put the violin there. So this keeps you in a very upright position, not hunched over forward, not really leaning back, just straight out as if you were just kind of standing up with really good posture. Um, so you said your shoulders back, your neck hurts. Um, the neck thing is definitely an issue. I remember when I switched, um, got rid of my shoulder rest, I dealt with a lot of neck issues because I felt like I had to lean my head a lot more over this way. So if you can try to feel, um, not try to put pressure onto your neck this way or anything, just kind of like, lightly hold the violin there. So it's more of a balancing act between your collarbones and this is like the shelf that your violin's gonna rest on and then your hand here, then you'll feel a lot better and release the tension here because you don't wanna be grabbing and getting these muscles, your scalenes all tense when you play. So if you're like squeezing down like this and playing like that, that's gonna make this tense definitely. So try, try not to do that. And that's just going to take a lot, of, um, a lot of practice at being relaxed and having the violin feel like it's resting rather than you feel like you're clamping onto it. Um, when you practice, try to release, put, just put the bow down and release for a while and try to turn your head back and forth and try to feel like you're not doing this, especially that could cause jaw problems. Um, just feel really neutral here, and I'm gonna say that a lot, but um, you wanna keep that in your mind here. Um, about the right shoulder, um, you say it keeps coming up, and you hold not to let it come up, and how are you supposed to bring your forearm and the rest of your arm? We're going to lower strings, okay. So, <clears throat> when people are telling you not to raise your right shoulder, it means that they don't want you to do this, okay? So that you can actually kind of think from your shoulder blades as well, because when you do this, your shoulder blades move up, if you'll notice. Um, what you are going to do is you're going to raise the elbow. 
and your shoulder, this part right here, may adjust for that, especially when you're going to the G string, but you're not really raising the shoulder, if that makes sense. So here's E string level, and then A string level, which I can't really see the shoulder, D, and then G. So you can see that my shoulder looks like it's somewhat higher than it is on E, but this is raised, and this is not. So from here, my shoulder blade is stabilized, and it's not moving at all. It's um, rotating a bit to let me to let me move it up here, but I'm not lifting. So if you start getting into this this issue, that's you want to keep it down and back. But you can still move over to G string really easily from here to here. So you can see how that works. Um, with the tension in your left hand, I sense that a lot of that is probably stemming actually from your neck. So do a lot of um, a lot of neck massaging things. Oh, my knees to be massaged too. It's also tight. Um, make sure that you're staying really, really loose in your neck. It's going to be really hard, but concentrate on that a lot and try to make sure that you're not squeezing at all and just getting tight in your neck because that runs down our arms and will make this tense in here. Um, so when you put down your fingers, even if you can, practice, try practicing placing your fingers without your thumb. It's going to feel really, really bizarre, but see what this feels like because this way you're not able to squeeze. You're not able to be tense in your left hand. So you're just getting the feeling of dropping the fingers down in a very neutral way. And then the thumb comes here and just supports the other fingers. So you're not squeezing like this or like this or just, you know, grabbing it really tightly. Um, so that would be something I'd recommend. Make sure that when you're shifting, you're shifting very lightly as well, that you're not squeezing your fingers and then moving up and down like this because you can see um, my muscles already getting tense in my arm here. Um, so like I said, I think a lot of that's stemming from your neck and we can um, look more at that later. I know it's hard, <laughs> it would be easier to do this if I was just with you in person, but maybe some of these things can help and um, just let me know if you have any other questions or maybe I can answer this as well. All right. Bye.